What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome back to another episode of Curse Gun Images. Let's get started. If you're not familiar with the premise of Curse Gun Images, it's basically just a video series that we do finding just the worst, most heinous guns and gun pictures on the internet. And you guys seem to find some sick pleasure in watching me talk about it, so here we are. So I couldn't do this episode of Curse Gun Images without talking about this gem. This is an invention from Battlecock Tactical called the BBG-26, also known as the Big Black Glock 26. I'm not gonna lie, I was one of the guys who thought that this was Photoshop right off the bat because that is so much easier than actually building this son of a bitch. But no, this is, uh, this is actually real. Take a subcompact and then add, I guess, three times the grip space there. So it now takes 33 round stendo clips. Is this a cursed gun image? I kind of think so. But I also have to applaud the amount of effort that went into this motherfucker. Definitely right on the border of blurst gun image. I hate what you've done, but I'm impressed with the craftsmanship it took to do it. So I'm sure things from here on are just gonna get much worse, which is time to talk about our new liquor sponsor, American Barrels. This is my cursed gun image first aid kit. Alrighty, next up we have a 380 1911. Do you spot anything wrong with this? I'll give you a second. Well, yeah, for one, it's a 1911 and 380 auto. But look a little closer. There's something that makes this a difficult firearm to use. Just spot it yet. If not, I'll give you a hint. It is typically easier to use your semi-automatic handgun if your slide isn't welded to the frame. I can only assume this is like a weird way of demilling this in some other country, which is a really weird way to demill that considering you just, you know, take 60 seconds on a Dremel and cut that weld and you have a fully functional handgun again. I feel like our ATF is just too aggressive about making sure that our demilled guns are actually demilled. Come on, we both know I'm gonna reactivate it. Just make it a little easier for me, okay? Ah, uh, yes, from the designers of the soup knife, we bring you the single shot revolver and it's hammerless. Ew. I was racking my brain trying to think of what the purpose of a single shot revolver would be. <laughs> I thought it was obvious. Russian roulette. It's kind of like a loaded die. You're gonna win every time. All right, this one has been sent to me nonstop since it made its debut on Reddit. So let's talk about it. I give you the beanstalk. Oh, I just realized why that's funny. <laughs> beanstalk, like, like, a, like it's beanstalk, like Jack and the Beans. Never mind. But yeah, this is what appears to be a 1022, like a Ruger 22, uh, that somebody has just epoxied beans into instead of a stock. You might ask why someone would do this. Okay, next one. This one is actually a repeat inclusion on Cursed Gun Images from Kekistani Armorer. You may remember the folding hinge Mosin Nagant, complete with the little door springy bipod up front. Um, Sergei Mosin, I'm very sorry. Well, no doubt because of its popularity on Reddit, the original creator of this gun has decided to take it a step further. Behold, the doorknob trigger. This gentleman woke up and thought, you know, how do I make the dog shit Mosin trigger pull even worse? I for one kind of appreciate it, you know? I mean, if you're gonna spit in the face of God, might as well go all the way. It appears like he's got a string wrapped around it that just as soon as you twist the doorknob just pulls the trigger. It's pretty simple, actually. I kind of want to get my hands on this thing. Is that bad? So what do we have here? Ah, I give you the STG-44 if it was owned by Lucas from T-Rex Arms. You know what's bad about this? For one, thank God it's a Photoshop, but I don't hate the way that this looks. You hear me out on this one. If this was new production, like the Hill and Mac uh, STG-44, uh, they did one up like this, and you're not actually sacrificing a real piece of history for your Bubba dreams. 
this is kind of dope looking, not gonna lie. Of course, they seem to completely have forgotten there's a long stroke piston that goes under that handguard. Um, that's not awesome. But other than that, really well done Photoshop. It's kind of neat. If the 1944 Germans had access to the Magpul catalog, I suppose this is what we could have looked forward to. Ah. This one actually makes a good bit of sense. We have a 3D printed receiver on a VZ61 Scorpion, of which they couldn't, I guess, do the trigger guard for, so they bent a spoon as a trigger guard. The same spoon that they first used to administer their illegal substances into themselves uh, before they thought that this was a good idea. Not sure what's up with the folded emergency blanket in the rear trunnion there, though. Whatever extra density you might have gotten out of that probably went away as soon as you put screws right through the side of your printed reinforcement block there. I know this isn't gun meme review, it's cursed gun images, but I, I couldn't resist this one. The movie trailer. The movie you get. Also known as the Snyder Cut of Justice League versus the cut you saw in theaters. Speaking of guns that you can make yourself at home, uh, hi YouTube. Just your friendly reminder that this video is completely within the realms of the community guidelines. And in this video, we're not talking about how to build or the modification of any kind of firearm, nor are we showing instructions on how to do so. Meaning this video should be 100% monetizable. It was worth a shot. But that brings us around to our sponsor for this video, 80% Arms. Now we haven't done a video on it yet. Let me know if you guys want us to do a video on it, but the ATF has recently released a proposed guidelines for uh, their 80% their ruling. A lot of concerning stuff in there, but it's not currently the law, at least not yet. So if you want to get your hands on some 80% stuff and the jigs to complete them, now's the time. 80% Arms is a great company that we worked with before that sells 80% lowers, easy jigs, like the easy jig, that are meant to make it super easy for you to be able to complete your own firearm at home. Whether it's for an AR-15 lower or you wanna go with a Glock styled pistol like the GST-9, 80% Arms has a bunch of cool stuff to choose from. So if you wanna support a good company and also get in on the 80% train while well, that's still a possibility, be sure to check out the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Back to the Curse Gun Images. CQB Home Defense Setup. Night vision with quick release. Light, Glock, endo tactical adapter, foldy boy brace, sling, for one, I think it may be a little easier if you went with uh, some sort of smaller night vision that's not meant for what appears to be a tow missile. The other bit, I just want to point out the irony of having night vision and a light on your pistol. Overall, 6.9 out of 10, as uh, Karnakon would say, overly practical. I thought about not including this one uh, until I thought about it for half a second and realized what the joke was. I give you the iron sight. Yeah, I didn't think it was very good either. Now, when you think of an AK, you think of like a real classic AK, what kind of furniture do you think of? Everybody just kind of thinks wood furniture, right? I mean, it's a really good look, super classy, it can be done really well. Or you can just slap a goddamn tree trunk on the front of your AK. That, that works too. And the good news is the knot at the front of that handguard even uh, is kind of like a grip stop there. It's Organic and practical. It's all fun and games until you lose your personal defense gun because you have a termite problem. All right, this one kind of pissed me off. Somebody sent me a cursed gun image that was just this. That is not a cursed gun image. That is an unconverted Saiga in 762, also known as like the new production Russian AK-47s. These are some of the best AKs you can buy. They're incredibly sought after, and the only reason they're sporterized is because of our import restrictions. That can be fixed pretty easily. Time recording, these things are going for like 1,500 bucks. Just because you don't know what it is, doesn't mean it's cursed. But if any one of you out there has, you know, an obviously cursed AK like this that uh, you'd like me to take off your hands for a very low price, please let me know. I'd be happy to dispose of it properly to my safe. That's just rude. I guess that is a pretty cursed gun image. Really more like cursed slap rounds. 
If you're not familiar with this incident, uh, oh, God, I don't know how you couldn't be. Our friend Scott from Kentucky Ballistics had a terrible accident with his Serbu RN50 the other day. Thankfully, he is doing better. But it is no joke when a 50 cal explodes on you like that. That, that's some scary shit, it's a lot of energy. A lot of people have been saying, whoa, whoa, you, 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 you reconsidering doing the AK-50 now? Because, you know, what happened with Scott, you know, it's really dangerous. Yes, it is really dangerous. No, I'm not reconsidering anything. I just don't think a lot of people have respect for how much power is behind the 50 BMG. I mean, that is a massive round. For example, when we talked about doing the AK-50 light, because people are saying like, oh, well, why don't you just do an AK-50 and 50 Beowulf? Just because the number at the beginning is the same doesn't mean those rounds even have a whole lot in common. This is 50 Beowulf. This is 50 BMG. This is you. This is the guy she told you not to worry about. Making an AK in this is a shitload harder than making one in this. But I'm also not one to shy away from a challenge. So we've mentioned the AK-50 Lite before in the past. Uh, just a, you know, just a little fun little side project doing AK and 50 Beowulf. If this video gets 50,000 likes, we'll do an AK and 50 Beowulf. Shit, might have already done it. You don't know. But there's one thing I can say, is that I've always come through on my word. Unfortunately. Ah, yes. The Colt Luger. I think the best thing about this photo is the empty cans of Bud Light in the background that obviously inspired it. <laughs> and the unopened case of water <laughs> that was clearly not used. The Luger 1911, for when you want to tie in a world war. Okay, this is kind of cool. I mean, this is also some next level FUD shit, but it's, come on, this is kind of neat. If this was like the railing at some high-end hunting club, I wouldn't even be mad. This is the... Points, points for classy. For when you're trying to hunt turkey on the moon from the earth. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is what appears to be, I guess, an Ivor Johnson revolver with, um, well, some creative modification done to it, being that the grip is made of teeth and what appears to be a, a, a hex of some sort. This might literally be a cursed gun image. I'm going to have to call my attorney as soon as this video is done and file a restraining order on whoever the fuck put that together. I'm actually going to send him an email right now to do that. Uh, but before I do, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Curse Gun Images. Keep your eyes peeled. We got some interesting stuff coming down the pipes. I think you guys are going to like it a lot. Got some big things that we're getting close on. Anyways, guys, I appreciate it. And as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fear is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put his eyes to the top. But I can't let you can stop, 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 can stop. There we go. I looked at the microphone and not the camera. I was about to do the interest field to this thing. But speaking of guns that you can make yourself at home, hi YouTube, just your friendly mo rum fuck. Ah, this one actually makes a good bit of sense. I keep looking at the microphone, fuck. <laughs>